Today we find out if a team of family members can win a Stanley Cup. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Tuxen theme team. Today we're looking at family teammates. Well, not teammates, because they all didn't play together, obviously, but like family members who play in the NHL, basically. So every player here, except for one, has their brother or father on this team with them. Through, we have Jamie Benn, whose brother is a defenseman. Henri Richard, Maurice Richard. Then we have the whole Kachuk family on one line, which is really cool. Brady Kachuk, Keith Kachuk, Matthew Kachuk. I might put them as the third line. I don't know. We'll, we'll mess around with this team more than the other ones, I think, because there's a lot of fun combinations. But we have Henrik Sedin, Daniel Sedin, Jack Hughes, Brother Quinn on defense, Nolan Foot, Jordan Stahl, and Eric Stahl. There's so many options for this team. I feel like, like I feel like we could almost do a part two of this if we really wanted to. So if there's people missing, which I know there is. That's why there's literally so many options we can do. This is what I landed on for this one. I'm very interested to see how the Kachuk line does together. I feel like that's fun. I'd love for them to be the top line. Evens, we have Cal Foot and his dad, Adam Foot. We have PK Subban. We have Quinn Hughes, Jordy Ben, and Mark Stahl. So not the best defensive core, but it's definitely interesting. I'd like to see how they do. And goalies is the interesting part because we ran out of room on the team for stars and there is no like other goal. So I had Malcolm Subban. With PK Subban, but I couldn't really find a goalie who has someone in the game as well. Tony Esposito's brother played in the NHL. He's just not in the game that I could find. So we're going to use him, but we're going to put him back up for the first two seasons. Because if you don't remember how this works, we have to play three seasons no matter what. But if we can win a cup in the first two, I will put Esposito as the starting goalie. So how do we feel about this team? I don't feel super confident with it, if I'm going to be honest. But I've been proven wrong before. Our last team I thought was going to be pretty good. And it was the first team to not win a cup. So hopefully we're not repeating that today. Keep you with me to watch the first season sim just so we can see how we're doing. We're starting with a lot of wins and then a 7 to do loss. Just because I'm curious to see how good this team is actually going to be. I feel like the Richard brothers are going to be carrying hardcore. And I hope the Kachuk line does good because that's cool. But so far, so good. I, I just hope we make the playoffs at least. Ah, I shouldn't have said anything. Look, <laughs> the lost streak has been... Oh my god. He lost like five games in a row tragic so we just went on the like largest losing streak of all time so we only won three of our last 14 games but with that being said we are still in the playoffs somehow like so close to not making it also look how many people in this division made the playoffs that's weird one two three four five i guess that makes sense but only three teams in the pacific division made the playoffs that's weird and there it is no surprise here holy it was by a lot though maurice richard 34 goals, 42 assists. He is leading for MVP charge right now. Daniel Sedin's a monster in these Sims. 32 goals. He was the last team's MVP. And even on the third line, him and his brother, I'd be an apple machine for Henrik. Henrik? Henrik. Why did I call him Henrik? Anyway, the Kachuk line wasn't amazing. Keith Kachuk had the most goals. I mean, he's third on the team for goals, right? So that's not bad at all. I do want to look at goalies. Did Subban play the most games? He did not even, so it doesn't matter what I do there. Esposito will be the main goalie, noted. Uh, and it looks like we're going to need that anyway, because Subban did not play very well. Esposito didn't really play that good either, really. I'm not confident at all in this team, so I would love for them to prove me wrong and win this first series. We're down 1-2. to two, Or 2-1, two to one, I guess. If you want to speak correctly. Yeah, it's not gonna. it's not going to happen. I don't feel like wait wait i'll be patient i'm not gonna i'm not gonna crap all over them just yet game seven i'll i'll give them the shoot of confidence you guys got this i believe in the family power there it is let's go i never doubted them they always had it i just fat fingered my bumper let's see well let's look maurice richard still carrying only it's one goal but six assists so leads the team how are we gonna beat colorado if we could barely beat dallas though i don't like our odds anymore wait I take it back. There's a chance. Six to nothing. Man, I love it. So we scored six goals in the first two games, and then we let in two goals and then did not score a single one. So that kind of sucks. Let's not do that again. Let's go. Okay, so we have to score. We're not a defensive team, which makes sense because our defensive core is kind of mid, but our offense is where we shine. So we need them to continue, and they continue in an overtime victory. Conference finals. This team shaping up to be way better than I thought they could be. Okay, I was gonna say there is a Vegas potential, but we have to play Edmonton. Is that better or worse? Probably worse. Our last sim, we did use Edmonton and keep adding Connor McDavid from the win a cup. Watch them win a cup solo. Did we just? <gasps> we might sweep them. Never mind. They need all the Connor McDavid's. They're useless. Oh, I see a Toronto though. I like how I just started bullying Toronto, even though I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, because every time they're in the sim, 
they get pity points from EA and keep winning it, which is not realistic. I would know. I've seen a lot of failure in my lifetime. Uh-oh, we're going to get reverse swept, aren't we? Please don't let this happen. Thank you, and there it is. How are we going to do this? We have to beat the Juggernauts, the EA simming gods that are known as the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's just rip the bandit off. First three games, loss, loss, loss. That's what I thought. It's fine. We're doing way better than I thought we were going to. I feel like this might be our best season, though. I'm kind of sad that we're going to get swept. Unless they want to prove me wrong. No. Toronto Maple Leafs win the cup. That's a funny joke to me. <laughs> Henri Richard in the playoffs actually outplayed his brother, but he ended up with more goals. Daniel Sedin, like I said, is just amazing, apparently. He might, might have been better off using Super. I know it's only a one game to 22 games, but he had a way less goals against average. I feel like that might be our best performance. I don't know how we're going to top it, but hopefully we can. I will see you for year two. Holy crap. We literally dominated that season compared to the other one. I think we're first in the league. Yeah, first in the NHL. I don't know what the heck happened. Who popped off? Who did this? Who made this happen? Not even Morris. But Morris is right there with more goals and only six less points. So I'll probably have to give him the overall here, huh? Daniel Sedin is just a monster. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. I just, I know he's an 89 overall, so it makes sense. But he just... Feels like he's outperforming himself, and I love it. Like Maurice Richard's getting the um the MVP from this team, which makes sense. It's what you'd figure when we started. I like these statistics because both the goalies are like virtually identical. I know once again SBZ will play way more games, but look at Subban, man. I kind of want I like I don't know how to make him the starter because if I put him in the start position, they just move him anyway. He's playing way way better than you expect. 13-4-1. Not bad at all. Can we use all this momentum and win a Stanley Cup? Because it's been we've been down bad. We're playing San Jose in the first series, though, so this should be free. No offense, San Jose. It's not very free at all, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to deserve everything that comes my way. Okay, we tied it too. I I I get too mean. I get too toxic. It's like you're an easy team to beat. We did it anyway. It's fine. Okay, Colorado again, so it's a rematch. We got their number last time. Let's do it again. It's not that hard, right? Yeah, exactly. Easy. We have a lot of momentum building right now. That's a sweep of arguably the best team in the Western Conference. Definitely close. The Winnipeg Jets in the third round. Is Toronto there? And Tampa is Carolina again. They were there last time too. Interesting. I'm kind of scared of Tampa in every way. In real life and in this game. I don't want Tampa to win the cup again, guys. I don't know about you. And that's nothing against the team, realistically. And the fact that they eliminated Toronto... I'm already over it. It's the fact that they won three years in a row already, and if it happens again, I'm going to lose it. Or should I say, if they win this year, it'll be three years in a row, and that will be not good. They didn't win three yet. I mean, I'm just predicting the future, you know? Winnipeg Jets gone. I didn't even say how easy they were to been, which they should have been. We just swept two series in a row. How is the only team we're going to lose to? San Jose. Also, what happened? Why are we just a beast mode now? So we're back in the same position that we ended last season, except we're against a better team. But is the game going to treat them better? And we're on a roll. We have so much momentum. It's now or never. It's never. Wait, we, we stole one. It's There's a chance. I'm not going to. Not feeling too confident. I'm not going to lie. There it is. This team. Who Who's a team that makes it to the finals and chokes all the time? Because that's who we are, apparently. Man, oh, man. One more chance. It's just speaking of one more chance. That's only how many seasons we have left to win one. Two years in a row, Stanley Cup Finals, choke. Choke artist, man. Daniel. Dang, Daniel. You're already an MVP, and Rashar had the most goals in the playoffs. I don't really classify the playoffs as mattering for the MVP, which I probably should because it'd be better, but focusing more on main stats, that's how it works in the NHL. You know, if you're the MVP of the league, it's only for the main season, not the playoffs. You get a playoff MVP. Who won that anyway? McDavid just won the Calder? Wait, what? Hello? I'm so confused. Oh, yeah. That's my bad. Uh, it technically hasn't affected anything because we've made it. But I will probably change it for last. I was like, why the heck? How did Connor McDavid win the Calder? It's my made one. Whoopsie. I've made a mistake. But it's fine because, I mean, he's not like he was playing on Tampa Bay. So, but oh, you know what? I just, no, because I got them off. So, the McDavid, so... Dude, Edmonton's been playing with all those McDavid's this whole time, and they haven't won a cup. That actually sucks. That's hilarious. I swear. If we look at their team, they have all the McDavid's, and they still haven't won. That's kind of funny, actually. Leave it to me to make a stupid... Yeah, look at this. Well, they only have... Yeah, they have three... 
Yeah, they literally have all the McDavid's because I'm an idiot and forgot to take them off, and they still didn't win. That is funny to me. Why? Why do I do this? Why do I make stupid mistakes like this all the time? Anyway, I'll be back. Did somebody say repeat first in the league again with less points this time around? Don't get me wrong. Uh, Edmonton's first in their division. Uh, that makes sense. They have all the guys. Hey, Henrik Sedin. That's different. He did not score many goals, but he was an apple machine. Armory Richard only had nine goals? Bro, how? Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand how that happened. So, Daniel Sedin. Oh, my God. This guy really, if he could be MVP twice, I mean, he can, like, pretend. Henrik Sedin can just pretend he's Daniel. Overall, though, I think I have to give it to Richard, Maurice Richard specifically. He had 33 goals. I think he has the best overall player. Maybe Daniel, but once again, Daniel is already an MVP. I also don't feel like I explained it. Every theme team we make, we have to take an MVP from them. And then we're going to do 20 of these, hopefully, by the end of the year. I'm slowing down a bit on making stuff. Sorry for that, by the way. But anyway, we're going to make 20, and then we're going to put them all together on the same team and see if they can win a Stanley Cup as, like, the giant finale, you know? Maurice Richard definitely deserves the spot over everyone else. I feel like our chances of winning the Cup, I feel like if we were going to do it, it would already happen. We made it to the Stanley Cup Finals twice. We're playing Chicago, though, so that's a freebie, right? Don't get too cocky, please. Oh, no. No, no, we can't lose to Chicago in the last season in the first round. Yes, we can, apparently. Yes, we can, apparently. It's fine. Wait, please. We need this. Think about it. History. All the family members together. Never mind. It's over. No history. Screw this team. If you're going to come out here and lose to Chicago... I don't want to see. I'm actually sad. Two teams in a row that don't win a cup. This one made it to the cup finals twice and lost. And there's Daniel again. Where's Maurice? More. Where is he? Oh my. Zero goals for apples. Absolutely useless. I'm supposed to be hyping you up. I still might pick him. And Esposito was butt. And we didn't even try Subed in it. Baloney. Well, as much as I'd like to do a fourth season for Pride, which I might do, at the end of the day, can this team win a Stanley Cup? The answer is sadly no. I'm going to do one more season. It doesn't count. I have a ranking system. We can't go over three. I'm going to do it just for myself. If they do something good, I'll add it in at the end. If they don't, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. And we lost in the second round, so this team is officially dead to me. Goodbye.